Okay, the collective. Hope you guys are doing well this evening. Okay, guys, I'm getting ready to do your reading. Thank you, as always, for all of your likes, shares, your subscribes. I appreciate you guys. It's been a rainy day here today, so a pretty lazy day, which I do not mind. But anyway, um, guys, remember, this will be a general collective reading. As always, please only take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? All right, spirit for my collective. Let's get some initial messages for y'all. Mummy change. Didn't we have a message of change? Was that last night? All right. Mummy, huh? Somebody, has somebody been mummified? Have they, <laughs> they not been doing a lot? Have they been just kind of sitting silent and not moving for a little while here? The most magical hour of all. Okay, midnight. That's interesting because when I'm looking at that, I'm thinking about Cinderella, right? I'm thinking about someone changing back at the midnight hour. Huh, it's interesting that those two are coming out together. Let's get one more. Sweetness and synergy. Okay. Let me get one of these other ones. Let's see. Maybe something is changing in some kind of situation here. The sweetest hour at all of all mosaic. Let chance play its creative role in your life. <laughs> okay. I already have my feelings about what this is. But we're gonna let the cards see. I feel like this is something new, honestly. This could come pretty quick. So either a situation is going through a change or maybe somebody is going through some kind of change. I, I almost feel like this is new. I don't know why. I feel it so strongly. Let chance play its creative role in your life. So it may very well be by chance bringing in some kind of sweetness, some kind of synergy. Either in an already pending situation, but honestly, this feels very, very new to me. Now, it could be a, a situation taking taking a new turn as well. Like if you're friends, maybe it could be turning into something more, but something is happening here. It may have been about time in too here since it says the most magical hour of all. Maybe it will feel, could very well feel magical in a sense. Hmm. This feels, I, I can't shake this feeling. I really think this is going to be something that's going to be brand new. So let's let me look at, let's see, I don't want to use those again. Let's try a different deck. Let's try, let's try this deck. All right, so let's get some more information. For oh, I'm being told this is not the right deck. <laughs> All right, so let me change decks again. Let's see where I'm being led here. Oh, really? Okay, well, I guess I'm starting here. And this is not really one of my favorites, but let's see. It's where I'm being led. So what is this about? Give us some more information on this situation, please. Girl with a snake, huh? Empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or use enable boundaries. Okay. Wow, you are really messed up. I don't know why I'm being led to this deck unless this is giving me a backdrop of something. Heartbreak, pain, separation. Oh, maybe it is. The Grim Reaper. Yeah, this is why because you, you, you put some to bed. Okay, the relationship is over. No second chances. Okay, so this is the change. This is why I kept feeling something new here. Let chance play a creative role in your life. So you've, you're changing something. Something is absolutely over. This is where the change is coming. So you could have been mummified for a while. Let's be honest. You could have been sitting there not doing a whole lot with yourself. 
um, and now there's some kind of renewal that's actually happening here. So you can meet somebody at night. I, I really feel very strongly, though, what I'm getting with this. The most magical hour of all. It's almost like you had to go through your changes and finally put something to bed here. Or maybe some kind of healing here. Mummy, because think about it. They're all wrapped up, being preserved, right? Maybe you had to go through your own kind of healing before you could really step into a better time for yourself. But the, the biggest thing is you had to really let go of something. This card also says grow and transform your life. The most magical hour. And then, of course, after you're making this shift, we see some kind of sweetness and synergy that is actually coming in for you. And there's a lot of cards in this deck. And this is definitely telling me that whatever you... So you could have been with a narcissist. You could very well be the empath. Hopefully it's not the other way around. <laughs> you could have felt used or something. I'm not going to go too far in the back. I just know that you you have some kind of boundaries with someone after some kind of heartbreak or some kind of separation, okay, or even deception. All right, what else? Okay, so now we have, so you put an end to something. Now I have soulmates coming out. So you could be, well, maybe that's why this new thing that's coming in is going to, you're going to feel like it's, it's sweetness, you know, maybe it's something that you've wanted. Maybe it's been a long road here, but you have some kind of new connection coming in. It looks like it's going to bring some kind of synergy here, some kind of sweetness. According to this, this is a soul contract, a soul connection, soulmates. Yeah, look at this. Wow. Talk about a rebirth here. We have the Phoenix here. So you're going into a new phase of your life. Absolutely. Okay. Some kind of renewal here. Um, transformation. It looks like you've been through quite a bit of growth here. You got the Phoenix here rising from the ashes. <laughs> yeah, you just can't make it up. Be lighthearted. Finding out. It's just finding out. Things come into light. Adapt, change, and heal. You're the dragonfly. At this time, I just think that you, I mean, everything is changing for you and it's after a very difficult period. Okay. So those of you who know that you were the narcissist and I know I have some, cause you guys like to let me know. Um, this is definitely for you. If you've done your healing, if you feel like you've spent some time going through your own grieving process, your own change and all that, it looks like you have something very sweet here on the horizon. Okay. I'm going to go back to let chance play its creative role in your life because I think that has a lot to do with it. You can meet this person by chance just by going somewhere. Um, you know, maybe going to the store or maybe taking on something that, that you do creatively or even at the park or something like that. So if you're getting imitations, I would say, you know, don't, don't be a hermit. All right. Have yourself or, or allow yourself to go out and have a little bit of fun. Let me see what kind of energy you're sitting in collective. Let's see. All right, spirit. What is the energy that the collective is sitting in today? Actually, let me shuffle these a couple of times. The energy of the collective, please. What energy are they sitting in today? said a couple but five is a couple right <laughs> all right so for the collective what energy is the collective sitting in tonight please <clears throat> wow <laughs> are you kidding me right now phoenix rising from the ashes I'm that's double confirmation okay you're about to walk into a whole new cycle you have a you definitely have a soulmate here you're probably starting to see things a lot clearer here um you might be feeling a lot lighter within yourself it does say to be light-hearted i think you're about to find out it does say finding out why something had to happen Okay, why this growth was necessary because you're going to be stepping into it looks like a very substantial kind of relationship here. We have you again, Phoenix rising from the ashes. This is definitely coming after a time, you notice here, even with the Phoenix. I mean, they're rising. Look at all the darkness here on the bottom, all the shadow energy. It shows me somebody who's been doing their work, okay, who has been dealing with their own shadows, has been doing their own healing, and now they're rising up. All right. Wow. Incredible. The buffalo. See, that's very solid. 
Let me get that one out. I love this. We have the mouse, which is coming out in reverse. So you're not afraid. You're definitely not afraid. So whatever this, wow. <laughs> I just flipped right over the horse. Okay, let's, I'm going to stop there. Let's look at this. Okay. So the Phoenix alone, I mean, the Phoenix is about, first of all, it's a spirit card. Okay, that's what the circle is at the top. That shows me that this is going to be tied to one of your chakras. So the Phoenix is actually tied to your first chakra. Um, yeah, it's going to be tied to your first chakra here. So this is about your grounding. This is about your sense of security. But the thing about the, the first chakra, by the way, is also the chakra that is believed to carry the most karma. Okay, so it shows here where you've been dealing with that. Okay, when you, whenever we see the phoenix, we know somebody is rising above whatever karma they had. Okay, you've been able to deal with it, deal with karmic influences and situations, and you've actually burnt down whatever that shadow energy is, and you're actually rising above that. The buffalo is such a beautiful, I mean, these two together are absolutely beautiful, because when I see the buffalo, it's about being very practical, but it's also about being quite spiritual and grounded yet heavenly in a sense. Okay. You're moving forward very fearlessly. All right. Um, you're not running around running from anything anymore. If you were for a while, that could have been why you were in this, this place of almost mummified, not doing a lot, probably quite isolated. And with the horse energy, it shows me that you have a high degree of intuition, but you're also quite unstoppable and you're moving forward very quickly. Okay. I love this because I see someone here is very strong in who they are quite heavenly, which tells me that you're tapped in here, unstoppable and fearless. Okay. All of those together. I mean, that's incredible. And I think that's why you're, you're moving towards beautiful things here. So let's see where this is going. Okay. I think I... Start with this deck tonight. Move these out of my way. See that I've collected another few decks of cards up here. I need to. I don't like to have this many decks near my desk at one time, so I have to get those out of the way after this reading. All right, Spirit, for the collective, please. Oh, just the collective. <laughs> in their energy please what is this about wow okay there's that movement forward very fast movement here huh okay so this could be someone here this is your energy, so let's see. This may have been a time where you haven't felt so soft. And there are the nine of coins here in reverse. That definitely tells me somebody who is not. Okay, I like that. So you're putting down your guards about something, but there's something here about not being sovereign, not being independent, okay? Maybe this is what you're moving ahead, but you may also be moving away from something that's kept you in this state of feeling like you didn't have complete independence. You could have felt very guarded in a sense, but it says that you're putting those guards down. Oh, wow, lovers. Yeah, after a situation that maybe did not work out. Okay. Okay, so definitely after a love situation that did not work out here. So I don't know if this is something that you are definitely keeping to yourself. You could feel like you're keeping things to yourself at this time, or maybe you're not telling anyone about what you're doing. I'm wondering if you're moving, I don't know if you're moving out of a home situation, because this definitely tells me that you don't. You're coming out of a time of, I hate to say scarcity in some sense, okay? So either it's, you know, being without money, not feeling abundant, not feeling, 
even not feeling sovereign in yourself, okay? You could have been living, I don't know why I keep going back to living with other people. I mean, that can definitely happen, right? We feel like we're not on our own or we can't get our own place or other people are impeding on whatever, whatever our time, our energy, something along those lines. That's in reverse as well. This is really interesting. Let me, is this, I mean, I'm asking about your energy here. Maybe this is what you've been through. Let me see. Let's clarify. So show me, because what this looks like to me is that you're definitely coming. You know what I'm seeing here too? I just noticed the mouse and the grim, grim reaper are above this. Okay. But you're being very fearless here, which is why you're probably dropping these wands. You don't feel the need to be guarded anymore. Something definitely have you had you spin upside down. Some of you guys may feel like you don't have the money that you need, or you don't have all of the resources that you need, but you're do, you're moving forward anyway, knowing that you're in all of this kind of heavenly energy and this spiritual energy. So you you may be kind of flying on a wing and a prayer, honest to God, just depending um, on things to kind of work out for you. But you're making a move regardless. It is interesting though, because I'm getting a lot of earth energy here and I'm feeling like you're not really wanting to invest a lot of yourself. This person, this let chance play is created role in your life may very well come as a huge surprise. I just noticed how this card even looks. Wow. Look at her face. Okay. Is that the mask actually coming off here? This could also be showing me this is someone who's fragmented. Those, those fragments could be coming back into this person. So if you were in a long healing period or something like that, or trying to get some things straight within your own life, within your own spirit, your own soul here, that could be telling me that things are coming back together, kind of piecing you back together, if you will. So this could also be why you're feeling a little, if this is you, a little discombobulated, okay? You definitely feel like something didn't work out and that you need to walk away. And you're not only walking away, that's the horse, okay? The horse is fast. The horse is unstoppable, you're moving away from something it looks like that didn't want that didn't work out for you. Okay. But you're also holding, you might be keeping in all of your emotions in terms of this, or you might be just trying to hold yourself together. And really, I'm gonna say that you're probably really trying to take care of your yeah, this could definitely be about your own security, your own stability in some sense, because you're not really investing in anyone here. I mean, look at that. You're just not. Honestly, you're going to probably be in la-la land when this new person comes in. <laughs> That's what I feel. Yeah, this is you, definitely. Hermit mode. All right, this is you. I mean, you might still be trying to gain some perspective. This could obviously be coming up as well. It does say change is coming. Maybe it's coming after some kind of perspective here is gained for you. Definitely. Okay, so you could have a queen of coins that's actually entering your life here. Someone very nurturing and fertile. Wow. Wow. Or an empress. What is going on? Definitely some kind of new beginning that is certainly coming into your life at this time. This is making me, I don't know why this is making me feel, it could be either, just take it as it resonates. I may be dealing with a divine masculine though. This could be telling me that you're moving forward after something went awry here. Okay, this could have been in this nine of coins energy. All right, it didn't work out. It didn't pan out. The person wasn't who you thought that they were. Yeah, if you thought that you were dealing with some kind of pre-empress energy, maybe you thought that they were a good person. Maybe you felt, I don't know, maybe you felt like they were prosperous, they were kind, they were loving, nurturing, that kind of stuff. They could kind of vibe on their own because a, a nine of coins can definitely do that. Maybe you're feeling like that didn't work out with that particular person. And you've been guarded over that. I feel like there's still some sense of being guarded here, though. But somebody here is gaining some kind of perspective here because they've been looking for answers probably within, honestly. Hmm. We have one coming in that could be quite maternal. <clears throat> 
see what is coming up here. Yeah. I, th I think I'm talking to a divine masculine here. Boom. King of Wands, too. Could be a fire sign. Wow. Okay, then. If I'm not, then maybe I'm talking to a queen. Just take it as it resonates. A queen of pentacles here. So an earth sign. Hmm. Somebody here has gained some kind of perspective here. And I think that somebody's about to get some kind of very abundant new start. I just don't know if it's going to be expected, to be honest with you. Because I see that somebody's not really given a lot of themselves. They might be focused a lot on their work or something like that. They're holding emotions for sure in. And honestly, they might be holding on to their money and the things that they're they're gaining in their life as well. You may not even have, you know, a lot here in this four, but whatever they have, they're definitely keeping to themselves here. And they're not invested in no one else. All right. So that's why I think this is going to be by surprise. I'm very, I'm sorry, ladies. I'm very drawn to a divine masculine here. I'm, I'm going to go with that because that's what I feel. Which honestly, they deserve a reading, right? <laughs> Seems to always be. It always is focusing towards the ladies lately. Okay, so let's keep going. What we have here is somebody who's getting some kind of perspective here, probably doing their own thing. And I don't know why, but maybe that is why I'm feeling like things are going to be a little iffy. Okay, like definitely don't see this because they're doing their own thing. All right, not focusing on that, but they are moving forward out of a bad situation. Okay, so what we have here is we have someone coming in that's very, it looks like someone that's showing up on the scene that's quite nurturing. Okay, quite loving, very maternal almost. It could love animals here is what we're seeing. Could love nature as well. Great manifester. Um, this, this could be an earth sign as well. So Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This could be the birth of something new, okay? The birth of a brand new start for somebody here. But it looks to me like somebody may be a little bit conflicted here and really need to make a decision. It's funny that in this two of coins, in this particular card, they're heavily looking at one of the coins, right? Because didn't I say above that there's all these coins for some reason? So maybe they're looking at, should I take my focus off of my coins, okay? And they're holding one tight to them and they're looking at the other. Should I take my focus off of these coins or this coin that I'm holding here for this new coin? You know what I'm saying? For this new person, for this new opportunity. So this person might be heavily engulfed in their own work at this time. But something's happening here. And it's, it could definitely be with some kind of fire sign here. Okay, so Leo Sagittarius or somebody with those traits, okay? Someone who is definitely, they could already be in a leadership role, but it could be someone who's inspiring. Someone who takes charge, that sort of thing. I mean, this is crazy to me. Look at this. We have the four of wands here. We already saw that there's a soulmate that is coming in. Some kind of soul contract that's actually coming together. So this could be coming in too. This king of wands energy here. And it could definitely be leading to something else. Let's definitely clarify that a little bit more. Because I think that is going to be the big shift. I think it's literally going to be about chance. Being somewhere. Maybe the right place the right time. That sort of thing. I gotta be honest with you. I keep looking over there at that car with that mosaic and just watching those pieces. I think they're coming in the way I'm seeing it anyway. I definitely feel like this is someone healing, but I'm almost wondering if this is something that someone is doing. Like, you know, healing retreats, something like that, or meeting somebody in a situation such as that. For that matter, I guess it could even be yoga classes, meditation. I'm very, I don't know why I'm so, so drawn to that. It has something to do with that. Maybe they also find this person very healing or someone who helps them to bring things back together or to some kind of balance in their own life there. 
But this is absolutely why things are about to change and it's why it's going to happen suddenly and things are going to seem very sweet, okay? We have a lot of synergy. This is going to happen fast. Give me more spirit. Give me more details, please. Okay, Seven of Swords. Maybe this is someone already watching you or keeping an eye on you in some way, trying to be very strategic, trying to be sneaky in their approach here. The Three of Coins. Uh-oh. Is this someone from the past? Mm. Okay, I got a King of Cups here. Six of Wands. Okay, let me see what this is about because this is what I have. I have a Seven of Swords, Three of Coins in Reverse, Page of Cups Upright, King of Cups, and then the, and then a Six of Wands. I'm trying to see if somebody here is being sneaky. I don't know if somebody here is being strategic because they didn't. Is this somebody who wasn't willing to kind of work with you before or something like that or someone who could have very well broken some kind of contract? Maybe it was a spiritual contract or something like that before. I mean, I have the Page of Cups. This definitely looks like somebody that's trying to make some kind of apology to you and probably express some kind of love. Somebody here that's wanting some kind of victory. Tell me more, please. So you could have thought this person was sneaky in the past, too, or they could have been sneaky in the past. Something they did. Yeah. <laughs> sure that's you. So we have the Two of Swords upright. What a gorgeous card, actually. Have I seen this one? How pretty that is. Beautiful. I mean, I've already said this. I think you're pretty blocked off. <laughs> you're obviously pretty blocked off. You're not out there. You don't have your heart on your sleeve right now. That is for sure. Okay? You're just kind of doing your thing, not really investing in anything else when this comes in. But whoa. Ace of Cups here. Somebody's invested in you. So somebody already has a lot of love for you. I just don't know if you trust this person. It's funny with the Ace of Cups, I almost feel like, is this some kind of new love or some kind of new love that you're feeling? This could have been someone who you had some kind of false start with in the past, or maybe you started, but it didn't last. Let's keep going. You seem pretty blocked off to this person right now. You might have them blocked, actually, with the Two of Swords here. You could very well also have them blocked. Shut up. Look at this Queen of Cups. Which one are you here? So I definitely have a pair here. Listen, I got two people in love here. I don't know what's going on. I mean, whatever it is, whoever is coming. Look, we've already seen they're going to take you by surprise in some way. Let chance play its creative role in your life, okay? You're about to experience sweetness and synergy with someone here. It's at the right time, okay? So whatever it is, I think somebody may be coming towards you quite blocked here. Uh, honestly, this is that sweetness. This is that synergy. This is what I'm feeling. I think somebody's about to convert you. <laughs> Open you up is what it looks like to some kind of love here. Somebody may be... to making you feel love. Now, this could be, if you're the male here, this could definitely be someone apologizing and kind of opening up your heart chakra in a sense, making you feel uh, love again or making you feel like you can heal something or really open up because I do see a victory here. I do someone, you know what this is? Someone is being recognized here. I feel like maybe somebody's going to feel recognized finally. So if you've had if you've had a situation where you've been pretty shut down and now suddenly someone's coming in, they're talking to you, they're showing some kind of sweetness, some kind of love, or even an apology, I can see where that would probably open up the heart chakra a little bit or make you feel like you can kind of open up a little bit. You don't have to be so closed down. 
because I definitely feel like you've been closed down here, okay? But somebody here is going to be pouring it on, I think, pretty thick here. I see, you know, overflowing love here. This this could be brand new love, okay? It's an ace. This could be brand new love for you, and it could be from, if you're the male, it could be from this queen of cups. If you're the female, it could be from the king of cups. But regardless, we got a lot of cups energy here, okay? If it's the queen of cups, it's going to be someone who's obviously very loving and nurturing and intuitive, um, you know, caring, emotional in a sense. Five of Swords in reverse. Is this somebody from the past? This may very well be someone who you guys have been with. Because they're trying to watch you. They're trying to be strategic, even sneaky in what they do. The thing about this card is you can see that this person is like looking around the corner, even at those two swords, okay? So this person is still looking. They're still keeping their eye on another individual, but it was an individual that they weren't willing to work with before. They're also being sneaky because they don't want to be seen, but I feel like somebody is trying to come in here with some kind of, I think it's an apology. That's what it looks like to me. And God, it just looks like once that happens, everything shifts, Okay, everything that was on lockdown, the way that it looked, it begins to shift for someone here. So the two of swords is here, which tells me if you guys are blocked, somebody may actually have to show up or, or to get around that block in some way. They may also have to show a lot of emotion here to get someone to listen to them or to pierce their heartstrings a little bit to take off this blindfold because you don't want to see this person. Maybe even hear what they have to say. I see a lot of love here, though. There's definitely a lot of love here, a lot of affection. There could be a lot of emotion as well. Somebody's ready to drop their swords. They're no longer wanting to win at any cost here. I see a page of coins, which tells me that... Well, I got a king and a queen, so I don't think that's it. But this doesn't show me a whole lot of effort. But it is someone trying to do what they can to make a small investment into someone. A lot of small investment. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Queen of Wands. Could be a Queen of Wands energy. Okay, so Sagittarius, but it can be any of the fire signs, I suppose. Leo, uh, Sag, Aries here. I mean, there's just so much going on in this reading. So now I have a King of Wands, an Empress, a Queen of Wands, two. This is two. Yeah, so I have a pair there. I have the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Empress, and then I have the Queen of coins so these could be people or these could just be the energies that i'm reading around these people i'm just feeling like somebody here is making let me see let me clarify this who's this queen of wands actually i feel like this is someone who is wanting to invest you know. oh wow okay so we have the sun card so I feel like this is someone who wants to invest in another individual. They're not really given a lot underneath it all, though. There is a lot of passion behind them with this Queen of Wands energy, right? A lot of passion, a lot of playfulness here. So although they're not given a lot, it looks like there's a lot more that they're wanting. They're wanting to have some kind of success, some kind of happiness, some kind of fulfillment here. Some kind of longevity as well. Let me get some more information here because I see the Eight of Swords on the bottom, which tells me that somebody here could definitely be in their head. And they're just that's just not part that they're kind of conveying. You know what I'm saying? So let's see. Let's look at this. I'm going to have to break this down a little bit more. <clears throat> I'm going to see my time tonight. What is that? 34. Okay, so we got plenty of time. All right, Spirit, for the collective, let's get more details on what is taking place here. The 
cards that I like that are coming out is showing the ones that I really like are the ones that are showing me that, that there's some kind of whatever this if you guys were in some kind of standoff or someone who was trying to win at any cost or something like that I feel like that's definitely over I feel like somebody's putting down their swords here and they want to make amends some kind of apology they want to express some kind of love some kind of passion some kind of um yeah, definitely a lot of love here, but also I feel like passion as well. Somebody's definitely looking for a win. I'm going to tell you that right now. I have the sun and the victory card here, so I believe that somebody is looking for a win. And I think it's someone who's tried to be very strategic in getting what they want as well. Hmm. All right, so give me more on this situation for the collective this could also be seeing someone that's watching you thrive here because we see a lot of good things that are going on with you now these may be up and coming as well but also i'm wondering if this is what creates this shift this apology maybe this talking to you maybe because something is going to really kind of set the heart chakra on fire is what i feel here something's really going to open that up and let someone feel again because I feel like someone's just kind of going through I don't know why I feel like someone's not really feeling right now they could be a little bit bitter or maybe just jaded and just cut off from their emotions here look at this we saw the empress having a baby finally I've been wanting a family with you mutual baby love so maybe someone here wants to have a baby oh, we okay Should I stay or leave? I think this has been you, honestly, because you've been in that position of really kind of taking care of yourself here. Maybe question things. It says time to make a decision. The ball is in your court. Generous here, baby. Go do something nice for yourself. So you might have someone that's trying to come forward that's going to show some kind of generosity that maybe wants to take care of you. Or to show that they're trying to take care of you. Recharge. Emotionally or physically drained. Checked out. Exhausted. Energy vampire. Mm. I'm asking for details of what this is about. So this could definitely be someone who's been in your life, obviously. It could have been a very emotionally draining situation for you. But look at this. I mean, this also, I want to take you on a romantic trip, just the two of us. This could definitely, see, this is crazy because I feel like, this could be someone who you discussed having a family with, okay? Take it as it resonates, but um, I think somebody's been sitting on the fence for a while, okay? They know that they needed to make a decision when it comes to this, this situation here. And whoever is coming here, I feel is going to be pretty generous. They're going to want to do stuff for you here. But I'm just letting you know, you may view, that might be why your heart chakra is blocked here. You may definitely view this person as a drain. <laughs> Could have drained you in some way in the past. Yeah, it's definitely somebody that you could be ignoring at this time. I think you're getting this, not understanding each other, not getting along, not talking. This could definitely be someone who you're not talking to right now. You need to know that this is this person's intentions, it looks like. Sympathy. It's in reverse, though. Please forgive me. I am sorry, but this is actually coming out in reverse. I don't usually read these in reverse, but I don't know. I'm starting to have some questions, honestly. Tell me what else is coming up here. You might have somebody. This might be the why there's so many people here. You might have someone trying to, because I kept feeling so strongly about new. Now I'm wondering if you have somebody that's coming in that was this this narcissist that stabbed you in the back, potentially from behind. This is the person that's still watching, but it's probably why this is so crowded here with kings and queens, okay? I think you have new energy that could be coming in. But look how this is crossing. 
if you wanted a baby with someone or to have a family with someone, this may actually be something that they're using as part of this. Okay, this is like part of some kind of strategy here to kind of get back into your life. It could be dubious, obviously. It could also be showing you some kind of generosity. Okay, this is a person that's been sitting on the fence for a while. So they might be like, let's go on a vacation or, you know, go do something nice for yourself or something like that. But this might be a person that you feel is pretty darn emotionally draining here. And honestly, with this, this kind of goes back to the narcissist. Somebody who can't tell you that they're sorry. They can't feel remorse. Okay. Oh, wow. Next card is a player. Non-committal. All right. So you definitely have somebody here hanging on that may wish to try and just keep you because they feel like you're moving on. So what's coming up here? <laughs> okay. Ready for love, tall and handsome, no games, wants commitment, emotionally available, knows how to treat somebody. So here's somebody new that's coming in that is ready for love. Okay, it could be a businessman here, a boss that will take care of you, only wants you, only wants one uh, woman here or man, I guess, take it as it resonates, and then attracted to you. Okay. Dress to impress. All right. But look at this. But my pockets don't fit the persona. I'm telling you. I think you're going to have a return here from someone here that is in the past that might be promising you things that they're not going to be able to carry out. Dress to impress definitely tells me. This person doesn't even feel up to par. What they're saying and what they're doing does not match here. But I'm particularly concerned about what's happened here in the past in addition to the fact that they can't show sympathy okay mm. secrets deceitful misleading don't want you to know scared for you to find out okay yeah all right so let's look at this new See what we can find out here. So the new person could be some kind of father figure or you could be caring, compassionate, loving, empathy, forgiving, even psychic. This card is getting flimsy. Yeah, doors closed. Not the right time for love, not ready. And then we have someone here that's slowed down, getting to know you. Let's see if we're compatible. That feel, that would be you because you already were not investing in someone. This is why this is going to be completely by chance, okay, um, that you're able to meet someone here. I'm telling you, if you're going into any kind of healing arts or like weekend things or classes or something, it could very well be somewhere like this because I think you're going to really get on with this person. Um, and there's going to be a really deep connection, but more so, I feel like you're going to be able, like you're going to recognize. Doesn't mean you have to be that, especially if you're spiritual, but it could be. I don't know why I feel a very strong pull to that. It could definitely be that. That kind of pulls you guys together because you understand that about each other. Okay, slow down. Yeah, so this says, this is interesting because it's coming out in reverse, but it says winter season. I'm tired of being alone. I want someone who knows my worth. Okay. And then we have a wedge over here. This is, the, I think this past person might be a lost cause for some of you guys. I'm sorry, guys, females, whatever. <laughs> this may definitely be a lost cause here because somebody here had a third party who drove some kind of wedge. They've been trying to interfere, trying to stop someone from moving forward. But that might be what some of the secrets are here. Someone may not want you to know that. So the bottom line is them coming in and promising things when they may not be ready just to keep you is a huge problem them being dubious in terms of what they're actually promising here, okay, and trying to work their way around actually telling the truth, telling you the secrets, you know, um, because they don't want you to know, right? I feel like they don't want you to judge them based on that, but I don't think it's a good thing. Remember, we might have a narcissist here um, with an empath, all right? They just need to pull you back in, get you back attached. That's what I feel. 
through any means. And they may also know you may already have somebody new here in your life that's actually ready for love. Also with this force card, someone could be forcing a situation, really trying to make it happen here. Yeah, but no, this person has left you with, with trust issues, okay? You had to heal, and it may have taken you a while to do so. So I don't think that's something that you're going to be open to. This new person could actually be a homebody. It says, let me cook for you and give you a massage. Okay. Cycles, yeah. It says, keep going through the same thing. Oh, it says, keep going through the same thing, or it could be a wake-up call, but it's talking about breaking the cycle for some kind of positive change here. And it says, experience the unknown. The door is waiting for you to walk through to something beautiful. Yeah, see, I think that you're going to be presented with an option here. And maybe it's like that final test for you, right? Um, oh, look. And then on the bottom, I see exciting times. You make me happy being with you. I can be myself with you. I'm telling you. I think that coming out of the state that you've been in, piecing yourself back together, okay, and allowing chance to play its creative role in your life is going to take you into a new time here, all right? And it was about some kind of divine timing because I do think that you had to learn your lesson. You know, the mummy unwrapping, you know, and their skin is so fresh and everything. You're like rebirth. It's like a rebirth in some sense, okay? There's some kind of change that's being manifested here, I do feel like somebody here from the past is hanging on. They're going to try to be sneaky and try to figure out how to get back into your life and your good graces, especially if you are this empath that I'm seeing here. I don't know which one you are here, but if you are this empath that I'm seeing here, that may have worked in the past where they could ease themselves back in, but you're, you're new and improved now, okay? You've healed yourself. You're definitely, if you were a pushover before, you're definitely not going to be that today. You're going to have very tight boundaries, and I don't think that's going to work this time. This person exhausted you as well, okay? That's why you've been ignoring them. And they could have ignored you for a while too until you finally just walked away from them. So whatever they're offering, I don't think you're buying, okay? Because you definitely have someone new that is coming in that obviously wants to cater to you a little bit and take care of you. Yeah, to help you break the cycle here, okay? So this is a very positive change for you. Whatever is coming in is quite the positive change for you. Let me get 47. Okay, let's see. Oh, I know what I'm going to get. I haven't used this in a minute. Let's see. These archetypes, these are a little bit different. Y'all see me use them though. So let's see if we get some archetypes about who might be on the board here. Who's coming in for you guys? Some of y'all may be getting pregnant actually with this Empress energy down here. It may just very well be telling me that you're starting something brand new. Whatever it is, it looks to me like it's going to need to, to live in together for sure, but probably some kind of marriage here. Maiden here, we can have a Virgo, somebody that's very caring. We have a hottie. <laughs> somebody could also work work out quite a bit. Someone who takes care of themselves, it looks like. Have a good communicator, love it. They could also be in some kind of communications as well. Some kind of communications role. We have a mother here. I wanted to see what that is behind her. It looks like it's a sword. Hmm. We have a mother here that's very tough. <laughs> that protects what she loves. We have a player here. We already know that. That's the second time we've seen that. That's just more confirmation. If you're thinking about the past and wondering if they're a player, I mean, clearly they're a player. 
So we have an achiever here, someone who really goes hard here. Okay, they could work heavily on their body to stay in physical shape, but also just someone who who try who strives for the best is what it looks like. Likes to be recognized, really succeeds in their life. We got another hot nerd. Well, we have a hot nerd this time. <laughs> this hottie is a nerd. They could have a lot of tattoos. I'm seeing a lot of tattoos. Their arm is actually sleeved, so. Somebody could be a bit of a rebel. They kind of follow the beat of their own drum here. Do their own thing. Defy rules. Higher self. Okay, so we could have someone here who's really spiritual, connected deeply with their higher self, goes there for wisdom. I saw water trying to come out. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We've seen that all over the reading. Nice. We have a queen here. Somebody could have royalty in their bloodline, okay? But this could also be someone who's used to. I could take that back to this card right here, actually, right? Queen of Coins. So somebody who's used to living the good life. Okay, who takes care of themselves, who can come across as very regal. Could be an air sign as well. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, this could be somebody who's already admiring you in a sense, okay? Somebody that's keeping their eye on you or wanting to be with you. Or it could be somebody who ha who it happens really quick. This could also be, remember what I said before, this could also be a friend turning into a relationship. So it could be someone who's already got their eye on you in some way. We also have a CEO. Okay, so somebody who runs the business or uh, is the CEO of a business. Let's see. All right, so let me get some closing cards, I think. So this definitely seems to be all about love. I see a lot of new opportunities, obviously, here that is coming in, but somebody who's going to be very serious as well. I would definitely say, uh, I always tell you guys this anyway, but obviously use discernment with the situation because whoever this past person is, according to all these cards, they're going to be laying it on thick and saying whatever they need to say, it looks like, to kind of get back in the door but if you already know your history with this person, if you already feel like they stabbed you in the back, they can't be trusted, um, you know, they were a complete narcissist, all right, taking advantage of you, then put that, you know, you've already put it in the past, just leave it in the past because what you have coming is so much better, okay? You're rising out of that darkness that you could have been in with this person. You're reborn in a sense. And because of that, this huge reward is coming, right? You're shifting your energy and therefore you're, you're shifting what you're getting here, your manifestations. And it looks so much better, so much better. You need someone who's going to love you and who's going to show you, you know, show you not only how they feel, but, you know, build you up, be there for you, communicate with you, not gaslight you like narcissists do. Okay. Somebody who's going to honor you and somebody who you can do the same for, you know. All right. Plant yourself here. This is about integration, embodiment, and grounded action. Plant yourself here. <laughs> All right. So maybe that's it. Maybe get very grounded. Make sure you're very grounded out here because this may happen quite fast for you. Um, and it could be when you don't. I just feel like it's going to be somewhere where you don't expect it just looking at this. Okay. Okay. You could even be getting, I don't know if you would get set up by someone or maybe go out with someone and it just happens. It says, moved by the goddess here for this soul call gather. Okay, we already know that this is some kind of soul mate here. I've already said there may be something that you're going to, some kind of spiritual retreat or even yoga, meditation, anything like that. It doesn't have to be, but it could be something around Shoot, you guys could be in a tarot group. <laughs> I don't know. I just got tarot in my head. All right, y'all could be in something like that. Something that you're vibing the same on that's going to start at least some kind of dialogue here. Here for this. I love it. Healing is happening. You're not broken. Trust the process. It's safe to soften. Yeah. 
Although I think someone has been alone for a little bit, okay, and now they're finally coming out of that time, we saw that someone's heart, they're still not focused on anything within the heart. Whatever's coming in here seems to be open in the heart. So, and allowing someone to trust again. Yeah, trust the seasons, embracing change, cycle of life, transition, and growth. Yeah, you're definitely going through a growth period. And I really feel like, wow, you cannot make it up on the bottom after the rain. So this is the silver line in here. Okay, it's over. It says to, this is going to be a relief for somebody here um, to have hope. This is supposed to be happening and they want you to accept what is coming into your life. Okay, I don't think we can get any clearer than that. I think you have something beautiful coming into your life. Be strong about what's trying to hang on to your energy, okay? You've already put it to bed. Just let it go. And you need to turn your energy this way, because whoever this is for anyway, because this is happening and it's going to be far better than what you've had. So, all right, guys, that's what I have for you. Hopefully we'll resonate with some of you. If it does, please don't forget to hit the like button. I will see you guys very soon. Have a good night.